la leche sólida. Lebenluft is in high spirits, as his musical has been a hit at the festival. We got lots of tasty pastries for your pleasure today. Yes, Shanghai Jews have much to offer, more than Munich, I'd say. But three years ago, when he first came to China, he had a hard time finding a place to stage his creation. Leben Luft came to China in 2010 on a Fulbright Fellowship, working as a researcher at the Shanghai Theatre Academy. The musical is set during World War II at a time when many countries refused to accept Jewish refugees. More than 30,000 Jewish people found shelter in Shanghai after fleeing Nazi Germany. This period has been depicted in many movies, documentary films, and books. However, the musical is the first stage drama to tackle the topic. The fundamental things of love as time goes by. Liebenluft had a difficult time finding a place to stage his musical, however, as the history of Jewish people living in China is unknown to many Chinese. However, Leben Luft recalled a synagogue in Shanghai where Jewish refugees once gathered to take part in religious activities in past decades. The script moved the museum staff and encouraged them to give Leben Luft their support. Uh, Chinese people and the Jewish people just uh, uh, help together and uh, fall in love together. This is what we're our um, museum talking about. That's why we decided to cooperation together. I am not a little girl anymore. So this is the Ohel Moshe Synagogue. The historic synagogue was configured. Um, after it was built in earlier in the 20th century. Um, so this is the, the bima and the Torah would be placed there. Because it's still dangerous because I still have a gun, right? After sorting out the kinks, Shalom Shanghai was finally performed in the former synagogue last year. The story depicts a romance between a Jewish woman and a Chinese soldier. Our love I always knew The past may soon divide us in dreams I am with you, in dreams I am with you, the stream that flow in darkness, from mist and fog we grow. The show's initial success encouraged Leben Luft to make the show more professional. No, 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 no. This is the Chinese hero should not be crawling on the floor. He crawled on the floor in the first scene. That's already enough. I don't want him to crawl again. Okay, so he gets shot in the stomach yes. and then he... Dissatisfied writers, confused actors, and occasional friction between the two have created challenges for the production. Can't take this long. Half of the actors are Chinese, while the rest are Jewish or Korean. The collision of languages and cultures has made work difficult for Lebenluft. I both enjoy but also find it very challenging to negotiate the different larger ideas of why we do the play and how we do it. Shana, the Jewish woman who finds herself torn between a Chinese soldier and a Japanese officer in the musical, is played by Jessica Weinstein. She detailed the role her character plays in the musical. Um, I play Shana, who is um, a girl who has escaped from uh, the Nazis during World War II in Europe and come to Shanghai, um, which at that time was the only open port for um, Jews to come to. And so Shana uh, runs a cafe along with her father, and she um, sort of has dreams of being a singer, and she sings in this cafe. Um, and in the story, she ends up um, falling in love with this uh, Chinese resistance soldier who's undercover working in the cafe. Um, and then there's also a Japanese officer because 
um, Shanghai was under Japanese occupation at that time, and so there's sort of this love triangle that happens between those two people and the character Shana, who I play. Weinstein said the conflicts that the cast has had during rehearsals have actually led to deepened understanding regarding each other's culture and history. I didn't really know that much about this story before um, becoming involved in the play, um, and I think it's quite amazing to me that every other uh, place in the world was closed to the Jews, and then they ended up coming to a place that most people had never even thought of before. You know, um, and the cultures was, were so different, but they were really accepted. The show's producer Sharon Levy said she felt obliged to give Laban Luft a hand with the musical. It's a very important story, really, to all Jewish people everywhere, because, especially at that time, that was the, uh, Shanghai was the only place that the people could go from Europe. They were being persecuted, sent to concentration camps, in terrible situation, certain death. And Shanghai was open, but not just that it was open, but also that the Chinese people were so kind to them. And that didn't happen anywhere else in the world, and so it's very, extremely meaningful, which is wonderful. I mean, it's um, it's an important story. It needs to be told, and not enough people know about it. We hope that more will find out about it, and it's uh, wonderful that the Shanghai uh, City and and the Shanghai Theater Academy have supported having the story. So we all are, are this great human beings here. Leben Luft said he hopes the Shanghai International Arts Festival will be a stepping stone for the musical, as he hopes it will one day be staged around the world. But I think the idea of being a foreigner,、um, being a refugee in an unknown land because of those those circumstances is very interesting to me. And there are、um, that idea of sort of displacement. Jews have been、um, uh, wandering and have been. Uh, refugees in in various ways for for thousands of years, really.、Um, so it's it's sort of an old, familiar story, but it's a a new look at it, I guess. When you take when you focus on the Shanghai.、Um,